Hey everybody, this is Stuart Fuchs from Ukulele Zen. Thanks for clicking on this video. About two weeks ago, I released an ebook of ukulele chord solos, 22 solos for beginners, intermediate, and advanced players. And it's available here if you want to check it out. What I'm going to do with this video and in future videos as well is go through some of the solos and play them note for note so you can see exactly what my hands are doing. And maybe more importantly, offer you some simple but effective ways that you can create some variations on the solos, make them more your own, and uh, make them, you know, put your individual stamp on it. Let's get started. The solo I'm going to be going over is When You Wish Upon a Star. I got a request from Classic Radios to do this solo. By the way, it's a great YouTube channel. All these vintage televisions and radios are restored on it. So what I'm going to do, like I said before, play the solo in a very simple style, and then I'm going to show you some variations. Here it is, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. and repeat Second ending right now. B section. A the end. So each one of these chord solos is designed to satisfy as many levels as possible. I did my best to make them as accessible as possible while still teaching you great skills for your ukulele playing. The other thing to keep in mind is that all of these are meant to be templates which you can then expand upon is to take these chord shapes when they're blocked out as quarter notes you could also play that as a full chord you take these quarter notes and break them up and when I mean break them up I mean you're playing eighth note rhythm now In this example, what I'm doing is I'm strumming and then I'm plucking the note on the third string. But you can do any combination that you think sounds nice for you. Now another thing that you can do is to begin to take these chords and add extra notes on top of them. So I'll do that again so you can see.
So when you have a variation like this, please feel free to use that. You can first play it as written, and then when you go at, to take the repeat, play a more developed version of it. Okay, so what I'm playing there is a more developed version of the basic melody line, which is sung by Jiminy Cricket, or Ukulele Ike. Now, of course, there's a lot more we can do, but I'm going to try to keep it as simple and accessible as possible. Another really great sound that you can add to this and any chord solo is the rapid alternation of the strings, a sustained effect. Sometimes it's called tremolo. It's different than flamenco tremolo. I don't mean that kind of tremolo. I mean tremolo where we're rapidly strumming the strings. You could use this all over the solo. Check it out right here. So maybe you've tried this and you've had some success at it. You might have tried it and felt the arm tense up, shoulder comes higher, and you just reach a speed limit. You know, you reach your limit where you can't go any faster. That's totally natural and what I want to share with you right now is just a little mini lesson within this video of how to use tremolo effectively. So it's actually easier than you think. What you do, hold the hand out like this, point the first finger down at the strings. That's the first step. Then step two, we're not even going to touch the strings for a little while. You just move from the wrist, right? The motion is generated from the wrist, and it's as if you're opening up a doorknob. It's that same motion. Okay? So just do this. No string. You know, when, you're, when your fingers are blurry and it looks like you have a million fingers, then you've got it. Now, just try this again. Just go slow and connect with that softness of motion. And then go a little bit faster, a little bit faster, and a little faster, and then a little slower, and then let it go. See, by doing this off the strings, you connect with the effortlessness of the technique. Then, when you touch the strings, you might experience this aha moment where it's like, hey, I'm not even playing the strings. I'm just playing the air there happens to be some strings in the way. But there is one big detail, it's an important detail. When you do connect with the strings, make sure that you're only touching with the very tippy tip of the fingernail because if you touch with a lot of finger, a lot of fingertip or a lot of nail, you're gonna get stuck on the strings. So you're really playing off the strings when you're doing this. You're just playing the air. There just happens to be some strings in the way. So I hope that you found this video helpful. There are a ton more variations of you know, harmonic variations and little solo things that I could put into it, but what I wanted to do is just to keep it very accessible for this first video. Please let me know what you think about this. Give it a thumbs up if you dig it. Hope you'll check out the ukulele chord solo book too and subscribe to Ukulele Zen. I'll be making more videos every week and I appreciate you watching. So until we meet again, hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks.